What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the Recruiter Call channel, the channel where we make the call for you. And in this segment of MTC, we're going to be looking at Denmark Cargo Solutions out of Merrillville, Indiana. But I do believe they considered a Illinois company. If I'm not mistaken, make sure you guys go and check it out. But this is what Denmark has to offer. They are hiring. Yes, they have company drivers. And what they have for company drivers is simple. 50 to 60 cent CPM, new trucks, team drivers wanted, direct deposit, friendly dispatch. But unfortunately, when I made the call to them, unfortunately, they're not looking for company drivers at this time. But what they are looking for are lease drivers and owner operators who wants to lease on with the company. They have lease to purchase, no money down. Keep 88% of the load. Dedicated freight 24-7 support. If you want to holler at them, definitely go to the website, which will be linked in the description below. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find too much information on this company. I have found this company in Facebook. Uh, we was in a Facebook group, uh, Facebook chat or whatever you want to call it. And unfortunately, what got my curiosity peaked was everybody was asking good questions about this company, but they didn't want to answer in the form. They wanted us to give them a call, which we did. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? I can uh, I can hear you good. I can hear you good. How you doing today? Who am I talking to? My name is Alex and I'm calling from Denmark Holding Trucking Company. Denmark Holdings Trucking Company. Okay. Right. Okay, All okay, right. okay. All right. So you guys and you you guys have uh have a, have a post on Facebook and um and it's a lot of drivers in there that's like you know like asking a lot of questions a lot of good questions that I kind of felt that could have been answered in the forum my first question is what is the big secret and why do you want us to like call you guys on a one-on-one -on -one basis because we need to hire qualified drivers and in order to hire you i need to see how uh, how are you to see how you you would speak with me uh, uh what the kind of driver you are you know i need to know you better in order to hire you in our company interesting okay so how much experience do you guys need or require at least one year uh, one year? Okay, so a driver with... Over uh, the road. Over uh, the road, not oh. local, not regional. Over the road. Oh, okay, so we, so you require a driver that at least done at least 48 states or less or close to it. Well, not, not exactly 48. You can be 20, but not doing local, you know? Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. All right, um, all right, so... And what? I need plain record, no speeding, no violation, no DUE, no SAP. Oh, you, oh, you guys don't don't take SAP drivers? No, sir. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, Pre-employment drug screening. Uh, what is it? Hair follicles or urine or both? It's urine. Urine. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So. For a person that's coming in with one year, I got seven. Uh, what would be what would be the mileage pay or the pay per mile? Uh, so we have only lease to purchase program. We don't have uh, company drive 
driver oh. position. Okay, so okay. You are so not paid by mild, you are paid by load. 88% of each load is yours. 12% goes to commission. Oh. And our load for dry van are paid from 2.3 to 2.9 per oh. mile. Okay, so 88%, you guys get 12. That sounds awfully familiar. But you guys got uh you guys get 12. Um, I get 88% of the load. Would I be able to choose my own loads? Dispatch is finding loads for you, but you are choosing where you want to go or you don't want to go. Basically, you are arranging with them. Okay, everything. so so, like, say, for example, I, 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 I say to my fleet manager, yo, I want to I want a load that's going down to Florida or something like that. Cool. They get me a load going down to Florida. On the flip side of that, should they be working on getting me a load that's coming out of Florida before I get there? If if we if they choosing my own loads, I mean, if they choosing the loads for me. Of course, you can arrange with them. You can tell them, hey, I want to go to Florida to pick up this. Or, uh, of course, you are arranging with them Oh, everything, okay. your home time. And so uh, just uh, some approximate time that we need you to be on the road is two weeks. Uh, two weeks, then two to three days home. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's like a, a day and a half, pretty much. Okay, okay. Um. Cool. 88% of the load that goes to me. How much, um, being that uh, this is lease purchase, how much is the trucks a week? I have a very good offer there where um, usually lease, the purchase program is on three years. Okay. But uh, I have a great offer that where after one year and a half, mm. you can buy a truck. Oh. Buy out, early buy out. Early buy yes. out. Okay. And, yeah. Yes, and that is for um, International 2019 with Cummins engine in multiple colors, first oil on us, first tires on us. And uh, also after a year and a half, you can buy that truck out. And uh, until that one year and a half, weekly payment for the truck would be 385 Wait. Very good offer. Wait, wait. Wait, hold hold on. You you you're talking a little bit fast there. Hold hold on. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to process all of this. So <laughs> at three so we looking at three hundred dollars a week. That's three sits. That's twelve hundred dollars a month. And I will be able to own the truck after a year and a half, no out of pocket costs with that. No, 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 no. Oh, no. okay. This 300, 385 is only for the truck. You also need to lease. You can rent or buy trailer also. Okay. Because you need trailer for the load. Right. Okay, okay. So how much is the trailer every week? From 350 to 450, depending on the office. And trailers are from 2020, 2022. Okay, so trailers. now I'm looking at uh, three, four. So now I'm looking at $700 a week. So let me ask you this. Um, is all this going into the, uh, is all this going into the price of the truck and trailer that will be mine at the end of a year and a half, or do I got to go the whole three years for it could be completely mine with no out of pocket expense? No, 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 no. Okay. After a year and a half. After a year and a half. Okay. You can pay the rest of that one year and a half that is left. So early payout means that. So in the first, year and a half you're paying weekly your truck and trailer right okay. and after a year and a half if you want you can pay up early everything that you have rest to pay oh okay so that means okay okay i okay i got it i i think i got it let let me let me make sure if i got it so 
The first year and a half, I'll be paying to you guys. The second year and a half, a year, or for the second year and a half, for the buyout, I will have to get my own financing. Right? Uh, sir, can you please repeat this cutting out? Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so the first year, year and a half, I'm going through the back roads. So the first year and a half, I will be paying through you guys uh, for the truck and, you know, for the truck. And then to buy it out, I will have to get financing on my own to buy it out from you, right? Of, of course. Ah, of course, but you ah to okay. To do that earlier. Oh, to do it early. Okay, but I can, I can still ride out the three years with you guys, though, right? Yes. Correct. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hey, talk to me so I can understand. That's all. All right. Um, 88% of the load. You guys get 12% 12, uh, 12 of the load. Uh, you guys will look for the loads for me. Let me ask you something. Uh, I'm, I'm active on a couple of load boards myself. So if I happen to see a load on a load board, can I turn around and just, you know, kind of like hip that to my, to my fleet manager and say, hey, you know, I see this load right here that's going to such Yes, through your dispatch, of course. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Uh, so for the uh, equipment, you said 2019, what, Freightliner International? What, what are... What, no, 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 no. 2019, no. 2019 International Tw with Cummings Engine. Oh, 2019 International with a Cummings Engine. Is the, is the government open on that or is the truck government? Uh, the truck is the government right now at 70, but for experienced drivers, and you have seven years over the road, Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we can de do a little something up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, of course, uh, this but not uh, not not something up like eighty, right? <laughs> but seventy two, seventy three, maybe seventy three, seventy five. You know. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Of course, uh, of course, no force dispatch. Uh, is this a walk away? Is this a walk away yes, lease? Yes, sir. This is a walk away lease. You just need to give one or two weeks notice. Uh, okay, one or two weeks notice. Okay, uh, and we and yes. I am paid every. I'm paid every week. Um, Monday to Monday. So pay period is Monday to Monday. You are receiving your paycheck on Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. And right now on this market, yes, Tuesday. And right now on this market, our drivers, our drivers take home money after deductions from two thousand five hundred up to four thousand five hundred. Oh, okay, okay, and that's uh, that's that's after after is that take home net or take home uh, gross before everything is taken out? Sir, gross is seven to nine. Oh, gross is seventy nine, and my take home twenty five to forty five. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, cool. Um, yes. all right. Um, wow, that's that's a lot to take in. Um, of course, you said you don't. Uh, yes, I'm sending you. Oh, go ahead. I'm sending you the program on your phone number, and in that message, you can send me over your CDL and your medical card in order to resend that to my insurance, and I will let you know in 30 minutes because that is the approximate time. Our orientation days are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Orientation takes 24 hours. Uh, we are arranging for you everything when you come to Chicago, the Uber, the drug test, and the hotel room. You just need to provide the self transportation because we were played many times and we are not doing that anymore. Uh, we need to make sure that our drivers will have, uh, we are doing um, everything for them when they. Yes, because we were played many times. Ah. We need to make sure that our drivers will actually show up. Ah, okay. So, hotel. So, let me get this straight hotel, the Ubers. And the drug testing is all on you guys, but the uh, the transportation we are arranging for you, yes. right? So the transportation to get to you guys is all on us getting up there, right? Yes. Okay. Um, yes, sir. You you know I I do have a question, and I I hope you don't take this the wrong way because I I do do my homework when 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 it comes to me you know vetting these companies. 
But I have saw an uh, article, uh, an article of one of you guys' drivers in a in a in a accident with a super ego trailer. Uh, are we? Once I become a driver, would you? Would I be associated with super ego and carrying their trailers as well? No, no, no. Listen, mm -hmm. uh, we are in this business for three years, and when you are small, you need help. Okay. So three years ago, we rented some trailers from them, mm -hmm. but right now we have around one hundred trucks of ours, mm -hmm. and we have our trailers, and we have our authority, our department for dispatch, recruiting, safety, everything, our fleet. So, no, sir, we are not associated with Super Ego or oh. none of the companies. All right. Okay. Well, I tell you what, I do appreciate the call. I do appreciate the honesty. Thank you very much. Because I was kind of wondering why, you know, because the drivers in the, in the Facebook group was asking some really good questions. And I was just kind of wondering why... You know why nobody wasn't answering. Oh yes, in the I form. didn't. I did. I didn't. I didn't answer you for that question. So comments are not for messaging. Right. DM is for messaging. Okay. Comments are that you just need to see the contact, mm -hmm. how you can contact me, how you can contact my company, and for the rest, we need to have your number or you need to have our number. So we can talk. We are people and I cannot hire you if I don't see that you're qualified for my company. Gotcha. Only for awesome. Them. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Great take. I will definitely, I, you know, I have a in Facebook. This, in this. Oh, go ahead. In this world, in this world, uh, there is a lot of scammers. There is a lot of, you know, and we prefer that before the driver comes to our company, that we need to make sure that that person is mentally stable, first of all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Gotcha. Exactly. All right, cool. Like I said, I, I do have a Facebook group, so I will definitely share this information uh, with them. And uh, and I appreciate you uh, reaching out to me. Thank you. 88% of the load. That's no good. problem, sir. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Always. So... If you are interested, you can call me and I would be glad to hire you. Not a problem, ma'am. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Okay. Bye-bye. Later. There you have it, everybody. Denmark Cargo Solutions out of Illinois. Another Illinois company for you guys. They're located in Merrillville, Indiana, but they're considered an Illinois company. What do you guys think of that call? Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So what they got to offer, they are straight leasing, straight leasing. Everything what she said in the conversation is what they have available. So what we about to do right now, we about to go in here and jump in the reviews. And the Google reviews, unfortunately, doesn't look too hot. Doesn't look too hot. But let's see what a couple of guys says about this company. The first commenter says, the worst trucking company I ever seen in my whole entire life. They don't even deserve one star, but the least Google can give you one. They will steal your money, and if you quit, you will owe $500 to $1,000 to them. So it is slavery. Mm. They will keep all your money, and you can't do nothing because you signed the papers. I hope the feds catch these people because they're hurting drivers. They think they're tough and steal people's money. This guy gave it a one star. This dude right here gives it another one star. He says, I have worked there for three weeks. First check was $550. Second check, 780 
They have also tried to adjust my laws and wanted me to drive after they did. They are a part of Super Eagle. The best thing you can do is avoid this company. Now, let me stop right here. In the conversation, I did talk with the young lady, and she said they had worked with Super Eagle in the past, but they're not working with Super Eagle now. The comment was responded by the company. Joseph, stop blackmailing your chats. We're negative because you are not capable to keep up with the appointments. And you can't make money. If you gross only 4000 per week, we are sorry that it didn't work out, but we can't be Red Cross and donating you the money. Woo! This commenter gave it a gave it a five star. It says the company that meets all your expectations, very good conversation of people and employees who do their job perfectly. Whatever they write in the comments, unrelated to the job, that is related to a private matter. Do not pay attention because the company is perfect in its works. This commenter says. Don't waste your time. The company will definitely try to cheat you out of your money, whether you are an employee or a client. Ivan is a scammer. Don't do business with him. They took an extra 3600 from me for nothing, and I'm already filing documents with my lawyer. A response from the company says, we never worked with you. Stop lying and blackmailing. We will not give you any money. Man, what's up with these people coming on here trying to blackmail money? What's, what's going on? This guy right here gives it a five star. As a broker, I can say that I work with this company almost every day, and I have never had any problems with them. Every time... Everything was perfect. The people who work are kind and give updates on times. All recommendations. This guy says, this has to be the worst company I work for. You will be in debt. You will not make a profit. <sighs> Let's jump over to carrier source right quick and see what they have to say about Denmark Cargo Solutions. Merrillville, Indiana. They still consider the Illinois company though, but they are located in Merrillville, Indiana. Little bit of little bit of details about their fleets. They are all leased. They got 73 tractors, 79 trailers, their general freight, van, and full truck load for the shipment. Here's their safety violations. Vehicle maintenance, 62, 17 severe, 24 out of service. Woo. Unsafe driving, 25 severe. Out of service compilations, 27. Nine severe, 10 out of service. Driver fitness is one and one out of service. Accident reports, they got five, they got three in the last six months, five in the six to 12 months for a total of eight. Injuries within the last six months is two, in the six to 12 months is eight for a total of 10. And toll ways in the last six months is three, last six to, six to 12 months is five for a total of eight. Inspections for the driver is 125. OOS inspections is nine. Vehicle inspections, 69. OOS inspections, 21. So what do you guys think about Denmark Cargo Solutions, man? Make sure you guys do your research. Make sure you guys read the reviews. Look at the safer scores, look at the carrier source, and talk to the drivers. If it's their 
If there's any drivers that drive for the company, definitely reach out to us and leave us in the comments below. Let us know how they're treating you. Until next time, everybody, this has been another MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. Who's next?